Dutch national broadcaster has shown cartoons of the Prophet Muhammad during a slot that is reserved. It was then accompanied by this statement. Wat niet mag vanwege de islam en vanwege het geweld van de terroristen doen we toch. En dat noemen we vrijheid van meningsuiting. In the following two minutes, nine cartoons of the Prophet Muhammad were shown. We will not be showing them here on RT International. The Freedom Party leader, Gert Wilders, who was known for his outspoken anti-Islam stance, also asked for the cartoons to be shown inside the Dutch parliament, though that was refused. The drawings featured were first shown at an exhibition of Muhammad cartoons in Texas last month, and that was attacked by gunmen. Wilders was one of the guest speakers there, and he said the assault convinced him to act. The two men who opened fire outside that Texas venue were shot dead by police. Afterwards, Islamic State claimed responsibility for that attack. Now, the video has been criticized as intolerant and causing fears of a backlash. At the beginning of the year, extremists attacked the French satirical magazine Charlie Hebdo, killing 12, all in response to the publication of Mohammed cartoons. Of the magazine issued after that massacre also featured Prophet Muhammad cartoons that triggered mass rallies against the Muslim world. Any depiction of the Prophet Muhammad is considered blasphemous by Muslims. And political commentator Mo Ansar says the policies chosen by Hurt Wilders could severely backfire. Geert Wilders says that he is trying to counter the narrative from terrorists. And by countering the narrative of the terrorists, he is attempting to use an extreme measure within the freedom of speech argument. So to counter an argument at one extreme, he's gone to the other extreme. There will inevitably a uh, be a rebalancing. And this is what I consider to be political overreach. We will continue to see people across the left in society, people from religious groups and religious minorities coming together with broader society and standing shoulder to shoulder to oppose this kind of intolerance. Well, on some social media, uh, there were then there that were supporting the decision to show the Prophet Muhammad cartoons, echoing Wilder's argument about the freedom of speech, while others strongly condemned him for showing racism and intolerance. One user even tweeted he would pray for mercy for Mr. Wilders.